All right, so for this vlog, I'm going to be just kind of picking up and showing you what I got. I did get a few seasonal items that are new for like the Thanksgiving season, but at the beginning there's some basic items. So I got the no sugar added um, dry rubbed uncured bacon. I got a pack of ground beef. I know groundbreaking, two onions and avocado. I got salted and unsalted butter. I also picked up this spiced pumpkin goat cheese. I'm actually going to use this on top of the roasted carrots I make. I will put the link in the description box to the um, recipe I make for my roasted carrots. They have goat cheese. Um, they're really good. It's more of like a hearty kind of like fall winter type of carrot, but they're roasted and they're really good. I also got a cauliflower. I'm gonna make a cauliflower casserole. I will also try to link this to my recipe for that. It can be keto, you can make it keto. I got the Harvest Apple Salad Kit. Now, I have not um, tried this before. I'm going to actually put a little more stuff on it. I got a cucumber that's over here, so I'm gonna add a cucumber, some onions, a fresh cut apple, maybe some cranberries to this. I think it'll be really good, but it has an apple vinaigrette. So I think I'm just gonna grill some chicken and have this as a salad um, for either lunch or dinner this week. I also got some sliced white mushrooms. These are again for that cauliflower casserole that I'm gonna make. So these are some of the basic items I got. I also got a pack of green onions, again, for the cauliflower casserole, and what I just told you about, an English cucumber for my salad that I'm gonna make this week. So the next item I got was this alien spaceship card. I'm actually gonna send this to my friend Jamie for her birthday, it's a blank card, but I saw it and it spoke to me. <laughs> for her she's probably gonna be like what the heck Megan but hey her birthday's around the corner and I think this card is perfect now one of my seasonal item favorites is I call it a turkle loaf it's basically a beef wellington without the beef it has turkey it comes with a little gravy packet it's wrapped in a puff pastry it is so good I bought two of these because they sell out super quick so if you're at Trader Joe's get them now or forever hold your peace because they go they will be gone. So I picked up this. It's actually gonna be for my Halloween party. We make a grand meal for Halloween. So this little seasonal item I picked right up because I had to have it. This is a new to me item. Again, like I could have missed it last year when I was shopping at Trader Joe's, but it's the turkey sausage stuffing and fried rice. It's got turkey sausage, breadcrumbs, rice and vegetables this looks amazing to me i'm like super in the thanksgiving mood i'm ready for thanksgiving food so i'm really excited to cook this up i'll probably cook this as like a lunch um but yeah we'll see it looks really good i was so happy i was able to find these <laughs> these are the pumpkin dog treats that's the actual size they're pretty big so for our dogs we're gonna have to split them in half because we have little girls, but I always just love the packaging of these things. I think they're so cute. I'm actually dog sitting my sister's dog right now, so I will give them a little treat and we'll do a little taste test of the pumpkin dog treats. I also got alkaline waters. These are like the only kind of water bottles that I buy. I just love alkaline water. Um, I wish they would like have it in like a big jug, but they just don't, it's just in a water bottle. So I usually pick up a couple of these when I'm at Trader Joe's just to have on deck. I also got a large thing of Mexican cheese. I don't even know why I just grabbed it. <laughs> and for lunch today, I'm gonna be making a bacon and Gruyere grilled cheese, and I'm gonna use this as my uh, tomato soup. I really love it. It's tomato and roasted red pepper. It has a really nice flavor to it, and it's just not just a plain tomato soup. I really like it, so I'm gonna cook a little bit of this up for my tomato soup and grilled cheese that I'm gonna have after I'm done filming this video. And I think I showed this before, and they only had a couple left, so I only grabbed one. When I go back to Trader Joe's with my sister, if they have another one, I'm probably gonna pick it up, but this is the sweet potato gnocchi with butter and sage. 
I think this is going to be amazing that I'm really going to like it. So again, I picked one up, but I didn't want to like take all of them because it is a seasonal item. So I left a couple back behind so other people could enjoy them. I always think about these things when I'm shopping at Trader Joe's for these seasonal items. I don't like to just like rip everything off the shelf because I want everybody else to enjoy them along with me. I also got these seasoned Brussels sprouts with Parmesan cheese. Yum. They're obviously frozen. I've never had these before, but you can put them in the oven or in a skillet. Um, I'll probably put them in the oven, I think, when I cook them. I don't really know what meal I'm going to put these with, but we eat very um, healthy. We usually eat like a meat and a vegetable, and then every once in a while we'll have like a carb or whatever with it. Um, so yeah, this will be really good with whatever we're cooking it with. I'm excited. I think this is a new to me item. This is the broccoli and cauliflower gratin. Um, so it's basically like a cheesy potato, but it's broccoli and cauliflower. So it should be a little more healthy for us. So four servings, one cup is 130 calories. So that's actually not bad at all. That was a really good find. I think it's new, I'm not sure. I also got the butternut squash mac and cheese. I really like this. The, they were running out of this too and there was a woman she grabbed like I swear like 10 to 15 of these so there wasn't very many left. It had mixed reviews. Some people loved it, some people hated it but I really like it so it's a good item to keep in the freezer. And then I also got the green bean casserole bites. Again, never tried this before, but they're super cute and they look really good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be making that, I think, for our Halloween extravagant dinner. So green bean casserole bites. Yum. All right. So the next few items are seasonal except these organic corn chip dippers. I use these for my taco soup. So I grabbed those. Basically a Frito, but Trader Joe's brand. This I have been waiting to find it's the sweet chili sauce this is really good on salmon i picked one up for my father-in-law mike because he likes to cook it on salmon and they haven't had it for like four months it's been out of stock but it's back baby and i picked up one they told me the lady checking out we were just chatting and she was like you should really grab more than one of those because they're going to be they're flying off the shelf they're going to be gone and i was like no i'm just going to get one i'm going to be good <laughs> So I only got one. And then I also got the Everything But The Leftovers Seasoning Blend. I have uh, never tried this before. It's basically like celery, garlic, salt, onion. Should be good. It looks like it has some rosemary and dried thyme. This should be a very good like seasoning. I'm really excited to try it. I don't know if this is, I mean, it's clearly seasonal, but I don't know if it's a new seasonal item or not. And then I also got the cornbread stuffing mix. I make like a green bean casserole um, with like chicken in the crock pot. So I always pick these up because these fly off the shelf as well. I'll probably grab another one the next time I go. Not today, but next time. And then how cute are these treats? They're cuterie dog treats. So they have like cheddar cheese, salami, provolone, prosciutto little dog treats. Isn't that cute? It says every dog deserves their own happy hour. This is adorable. I'm actually going to gift this as a Christmas present to the dog that is squeaking behind me. This is her Christmas present. She's going to love it. I just know it. She's spoiled. So this dog treat is huge. I'm going to break it up into threes to feed these dogs a little snack. All right. Can you guys sit? Okay. Finn, that's good. Thank you for sitting. Sitting. Ouch! <laughs> that hurt. God. Everybody likes their treats. Was that good? Poor Finn. She eats so slow compared to everyone else. Lola. Lola, did you like it? Yeah? So this is all the goods that my sister and I got at Costco, Trader Joe's, and then we ran into Aldi really quick. So I only have a couple things from Aldi, but there's a lot of good stuff. 
on today's video. So I'm gonna do the refrigerated and freezer items first per usual and let you know where I got them. The first couple items on today's haul are from Costco, but the shaved Brussels sprouts are from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna make like a balsamic shaved Brussels sprout kind of like salad with some bacon tonight for dinner. And then we are also going to have the stuffed salmon that's from Costco. It's really good, a nice like kind of warm fall dinner. I also got the main lobster ravioli and I threw them in the freezer so they're a little uh, frozen. I think this is a seasonal item, it's not there all the time. It's just something I saw and really wanted to grab because we love lobster rab in this house. And I don't really know what kind of sauce I'm gonna make with this yet, but I froze it comes in two large packs so we'll have some lobster ravioli this fall season and then just kind of sliding over here I got pork tenderloin with Tuscan seasoning I've never seen this at Costco before again I only go to Costco a couple times a year um, but I grabbed this up for dinners for David and I think I'm gonna do like a salad with this the total price for this was $17.35 and there's a lot of meat in this little package so I think David and I will really enjoy this also with today's dinner, I'm going to be doing a baked acorn squash and something funny that happened was I dropped this acorn squash on my foot inside Trader Joe's and the people brought me flowers. I thought it was so funny. So we're going to be having this acorn squash for dinner. I'm just going to put it in the oven and roast it. So that's the first thing on our yummy list. Moving on over also from Costco, I just got the largest bag of chicken breasts. I really like to do this crock pot meal with green beans and cream of chicken. And so yeah, I just grabbed the biggest bag of chicken breast so I can make that in the crock pot and have enough to feed, you know, like six people. So that's why there's a giant bag of chicken breasts on my counter. And then the last thing that I got is the shrimp ceviche. Again, I just grabbed this for lunch, just like a quick thing to eat for lunch, like, well, I should say David and I'd eat for a couple days. This is a lot. And this was $12.69 and it's really good. It just has basically chopped up veggies and some delicious shrimp and you eat it raw or the shrimp is cooked, but you know what I mean? It's just like a crunchy little salad. It should be really good. Just moving a few more things over, a couple freezer and refrigerated items. I got the sweet potato gnocchi with butter and sage. Yum, yum, yum. I've never tried this before. Again, another seasonal item. It sounds amazing. I think I may actually cook that with some of our pork fillets that I got at Sam's or that I got at Costco. Um, so yeah, yummy. And then I got the pumpkin cream cheese spread, another really good item, delicious. And that's gonna go with my pumpkin bagels that I've already broken into because I was just very hungry and I needed to eat something. So I ate a raw bagel with no cream cheese. So yeah, here are our pumpkin bagels. Again, pairing it with the pumpkin cream cheese spread is the perfect breakfast and a perfect breakfast to go item, really yummy. I have never seen this at Trader Joe's. I'm not sure if it's seasonal or new, but it is the creamed green. So it's with Brussels sprouts, kale, and Parmesan cheese. And it's just a little bake here. I think it feeds probably four people. Yeah, it feeds four people. It's 130 calories and yum. This looks amazing. I cannot wait to try this. You can microwave it or put it in the oven. I will probably be the person that puts it in the oven. I just think it tastes better when you take that little extra time and put it in the oven. So I will be cooking this up very soon. It looks delicious. And then the other freezer item that I got that I think you've seen this before on my channel is the rustic apple tart. It's fully baked. You just have to keep it frozen and then you um, just can warm it up. It is so good. Look at that picture. I love it. It's not healthy for you. It's 380 calories, so there's that. Oh, you put it in the oven, it looks like, at 350 for 20 to 25 minutes, but still a delicious seasonal item from Trader Joe's. All right, then moving over to some more seasonal items, our non-refrigerated or frozen items. I got this balsamic glaze. It's gonna go on top of my Brussels sprouts today. So I'm just gonna leave that over here because I'm going to be cooking with it very shortly. I also grabbed David the non-dairy oat beverage. This is the one that doesn't have to be put in the refrigerator. Um, so we can just kind of keep these in stock around in case we have 
a moment where we are out of oat milk because there was that oat milk shortage. And they do have these in maple flavor, which is awesome in your coffee, and pumpkin flavor that is also awesome in your coffee. We basically don't drink any milk here, so the oat beverage is where it's at. And again, this one doesn't have to be refrigerated, which is awesome. I also scooped up this protein maple muffin little kit that goes in the microwave for David. He really likes these. Um, again, it's just like a quick little sweet snack or for breakfast in the morning. It's just really easy on the go breakfast. And I bought these last year and I love them. Again, this is just like if I want something sweet, I'll just grab like one of these little granola barks and eat them. So it has, it's pumpkin spice flavored, but it's not too pumpkin-y to me. So if you don't like pumpkin, I would still gravitate towards this because it's more like dark chocolate, but it has um, granola, dark chocolate, and toasted pumpkin seeds. And it's a really delicious, delicious option. I also grabbed more of the maple sea salt kettle corn. Again, another item that I just like to keep in my house. It sells out really quick and I've already had one bag and uh, yeah, we took it up north with us a while ago when it first came out. So I grabbed another bag for us just in case we're watching a spooky movie or TV. We just have something, again, sweet to snack on. All right, and then my last few Trader Joe's items are all seasonal except the cards and the maple syrup. But I got the Smashing S'mores. Now these have become a favorite with me and David. They are seasonal. They're still around right now in the later fall. So maybe you can find them at your Trader Joe's. I'm not 100% sure. But all you do is you put one to two in the microwave for four to six seconds. And it's like a little s'more, but it's not too sweet. It's not too much. It's just an easy kind of, again, evening sweet snack. And two are 150 calories. So it's not horrible, but if you want something sweet, this is a good little option if you don't mind eating 150 calories late at night on two little chocolates. Also, I got the Halloween Jojo cookies. So basically these are just an Oreo, but they have um, a little cute pumpkin face on them. So I grabbed these because I had to have them and they're delicious. So always grabbing the Oreos of sorts that are seasonal. I don't know why they taste better when they're orange and they have a pumpkin face drawn on them, but they do to me, so I grabbed those. Also, I love the Autumn Maple Coffee Cups. They're so good. They're comparable to the Starbucks Maple Coffee Pods, basically, and it's just cheaper at Trader Joe's. I believe this was around $4, so you get um, a more affordable, tasty option for this price, which is great. It's really good. And there's 12 um, K cups in this for like, I think it's $4.99 or $3.99. It was very affordable. And then I got the pumpkin spiced teeny tiny pretzels. I think I bought these on my last Trader Joe's haul. I believe I did. And these are awesome. They're so good. They're not like too much either. They're not too pumpkin spice. They're just, again, a great little sweet snack. These are 150 calories for 11 pretzels. So that's not bad at all. A really good option, yummy. And then I also got just maple syrup. I've been using sugar-free maple syrup with my pumpkin spice waffles and pancakes, all of that fun stuff. So I got just regular maple syrup. And I think this may be the seasonal one. I'm not sure, I believe it could be because they have a different kind of maple syrup and this was over in like the seasonal section. So they could have quote unquote Vermont maple syrup in the fall, not really sure about that. I also grabbed a couple wedding cards. I think they're just so cute and they're like a dollar. So I grabbed these nice little wedding cards for some clients. Again, just like good cards to keep on stock if you need them. And then these last few items are from Aldi. I have never shopped at Aldi before. Um, there's one by my sister's house and we were just like grocery store hopping yesterday. That's truly what we were doing. And we just decided to go into Aldi because we've never been in one before and I needed some French fried onions for that chicken crock pot casserole I was telling you about and cream of chicken and they had it there, which was awesome. So I didn't have to like go to another grocery store. So I was really happy about that. They were super 
affordable too, which was awesome. I'll put the recipe for this crock pot casserole um, in the description box below because it's awesome. We love to make it in the fall. It's a very like hearty, warm dish. And again, it's in the crock pot, so you just leave it and go. So I will be sharing that with you. Maybe I'll try to put it at the end of the video if I make it um, in the next couple days too. And then I also got this pesto mac and cheese. This sounds amazing. So this is what sparked my purchases of those because I wasn't gonna buy anything if I couldn't find these items, but then I found this and I had to have it. We always keep pesto on stock. And actually, speaking of pesto, I also grabbed the Costco pesto. We keep it in stock here at our house. We eat a lot of pesto, we love it. So stocked up at the Costco with the pesto and I almost forgot to show it in this video but this Aldi pesto mac and cheese spoke to me so these are all of the items um, that I purchased on my little like grocery store hopping situation 